In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Smart Clerk, an AI bookkeeping software. Essentially, you upload your statements and the software will do the rest for you. Let me walk you through this and show you how it works. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop your comments below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and I'll also leave a special discounted link so you always get your money's worth. This is the dashboard of Smart Clerk. You have a nice clean navigation to the left and then you can add additional companies and navigate between them. You can also click the import transactions button and this will import lots of your transactions. We're going to go ahead and start uploading a bank statement. This is now using AI to analyze the statement and it should start adding all of the transactions below here. It's now added all of the transactions into the software. Just to see how accurate it is, let me go ahead and open up these transactions. So we have the salary deposit of £2,000 and here's the salary deposit. It's also automatically categorised them. So this is employee benefits. Then we've got Tesco. You can see Tesco Superstore, which is grocery, £85.40. And it's added grocery supplements or general supplies. You can search by the description, payee or payer names. You can also categorized by all of these categories and even export it to Excel, which will then look like this. If you wanted to change things around, just click on the category and then this will reassign it to different categories. If you wanted to do bulk editing, you can simply select each transaction you want to bulk edit, do edit transactions, and then change the date, the payee payer name, and all of this information here. We can then also upload invoices. Let's go ahead and upload the invoice. Let's give this a minute to read these three invoices. Now those invoices have been uploaded, it's categorized each one with the invoice number, the net amount, the tax, basically all the information in that invoice that we need, it's been added here. You can then change the status to whether or not it's been paid. We can also edit the invoice if we really want to, which is a really nice feature, as well as view the original invoice that we just uploaded. So you can see here, this was the original invoice that was uploaded. And then we can even download the invoice if we need it again in the future. You also have all the basic categorizing and search features as well. Now, based from the bank statements and invoices, it will start automatically adding the vendor's information for you. So if we click view, you can see everything that's going on with the specific vendor and change all of these fields you can also navigate between the transactions for the specific vendor, as well as any invoices that you can see here as well. So it's really nice that it just categorizes everything for us without needing to worry about much. It will then start creating the typical report you'll want to see, like a profit and loss sheet, a vendor's listing, and it even breaks things down by percentages and total amount we've generated or paid, and the categories as well. You can also click on the category and the vendor and it will take us directly to that specific information. You also have a reconciliation area where you can manage the statements. You can inspect the statement, which will list all transactions. You can also add transactions manually. And essentially, this is Smart Clerk, making managing your finances simple and easy. So what are my thoughts of Smart Clerk? Overall, I actually think it's pretty good. It's essentially taken a pretty complicated area that a lot of businesses struggle with when it comes to managing finances and it's just streamlined the entire process for us without being overwhelmed by too many options and too many features. The interface is easy to use. All the features seem to work properly and it's not making any big bold promises on the sales page that the tool doesn't actually do. So would I recommend Smart Clerk? Yes, I would. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.